Assalamualaikum. I am representative from group 16 and we are going to talk about one of the film in Kingdom Animalia which is film Kurlata. A little introduction. Uh, so here is the hierarchy of organism. We have domain but we want to focus on Eukarya and for Kingdom we want to focus on Animalia and for film we want to focus on Kurlata and for a subfilm we want to focus on vertebrata and for class we have uh, several classes which is chondrichthys osteichthys amphibia reptilia apes and mammalia next the characteristic of film chordata first the organism in this film have triploblastic calomet and bilateral symmetry body triploblastic is three germ layers which is mesoderm ectoderm and endoderm while calomet are animals that have a body cavity called calum, with complete lining derived from mesoderm. Bilateral symmetry is when opposite sides of the organism body is similar. Second one is they have myotomes on either side of body and a closed circulatory system. They also have two pair of fins and a well-developed central nervous system. Next one, we have the structure of filum cordata. They have notochord, which is a flexible dorsal rod. It acts as a support for the nerve cord and is replaced by the vertebral column after the embryonic stage. The next one is pharyngeal slits, which is a sieve-like structure with numerous slits. These openings allow the entry of water through the mouth without entering the digestive system. Next is hollow dorsal nerve cord, which is located dorsally, hollow and single cord. It is a bundle of nerve running along the back and splits into the brain and the spinal cord. The last one is post anal tail that starts posterior to anus. The tail is composed of skeletal muscles which help in locomotion in fish like species. Before the next one, we have the classification of film chordata. This film is divided into four subfilm which is hemichordata, eurochordata, seplohochordata, and vertebrata. Eurochordata and seplohochordata are also known as protochordates, which is marine animals. They are in invertebrates but they share attributes of chordate. Hemichordata are soft bodied worm like marine organisms such as acorn worms and therobantia. Vertebrates are animals with a spinal cord surrounded by cartilage or bone, including mammals, birds, fish, amphibians, and, rep and reptiles. Subphylum so, vertebrata is then further classified into six classes, which are class chondrichthys. Class Ostichthys, Class Amphibia, Class Reptilia, Class Apes, and Class Mammalia. For Class Chondrichthys, we have several characteristics, which is cartilaginous skeleton, paired fasci pectoral and pelvic fins, egg produced through internal fertilization, and several other characteristics. And for example, we have sharks and stingray. For class of stitch this, um, first one we have skin with cyclot scales, bony skeleton, paired pectoral and pelvic fin supported by rays, and for example we have Nemo and Tilapia. And for the third one we have amphibia. Uh, first of all we have soft skin, uh, paired pentadactyl limbs. Uh, lateral line system in tadpole only uh, and for example we have toe and throat next one we have class reptilia uh, first one skin dry and plates second paired pentadacyl limbs and the third one is no lateral line uh, for example we have crocodile and snake for class A uh, first one, skin bare feathers, legs have scales, paired pentadacyl limbs, front pair developed into wing, inner and middle ear, no external ears. For the, uh, for the example is eagle and pigeon. For the last one, we have class mammalia. Um, skin bare hairs with two types of glands, paired pentadacyl limbs. Visceral cleft never developed gills. Uh, and for the example, we have rats and cats.
for application of film core data in life. Uh, we have pollinators and seed dispersers. Uh, first of all, spreading the seeds of plants, eat fruit or berries, carrying the fruit away to eat it, defecate in another place, seeds will be covered with fertilizer. The advantage of this process is avoid competition of water, nutrients and light between seeds. Uh, the second one is pollinating plant. Visit a plant, get nectar from the plant, move pollen from one plant to another. For example, of coordinates of this process, we have bird and bat. The, Quran, the Quranic verse that explains about this application is Surah An-Nur Ayat 41. We should not realize that purity of Allah is proclaimed by all those in the heavens and the earth and by the birds with their wings spread out. Everyone knows one's own way of salah, praying to Allah, and one's own way of tasbih, proclaiming Allah's purity, and Allah knows well what they are doing. From the phrase, the birds with their wings spread out, as we know, we see birds moving with their wings spread out to place flower to flower, blossom to blossom, in order to transfer the pollens and seeds. Their action and activities also want kinds of tasbih and worship that Allah talk and command them. For the next application of film core data in life, we have cleaning rust. So here is the explanation of the process. So uh, for cleaning rust, we usually found at cleaning station. Visitors come near the cleaning station, greet the visitors by performing a dance like motion, move their rear up and down, clean to cons consume ectoparasites on client fish for food, bigger fish recon recognize cleaner fish by their lateral stripe along their bodies and movement patterns. Cleaner fish greet visitors in an effort to secure food source and cleaning opportunity. Upon recognizing the cleaner, client fish adopts a species-specific pose for cleaner access. Fish with such cleaning behavior include blue stripe cleaner, russes, and gold beef fish. For the Quranic verses that related to the process is Surah Al-An'am, Ayat 38. All living beings roaming the earth and winged birds soaring in the sky are communities like yourself. We have left nothing out of the record. Then to their Lord, they will be gathered all together. From the phrase, all living beings roaming the earth and winged birds soaring in the sky are communities like yourself, we can conclude that all organisms need each other in order to complete their need. Okay, so for the references, uh, this is the, all the references that we use in order to complete our assignment. That's all from us. Thank you.